What do you think about people who preach using those gigantic and typically condemning signs outside big events? Jess had to make sure that, that was... Um, yeah, I really need to like, read <laughs> these comments <laughs> before I start saying them. Uh, but uh, I don't, I don't know. It does seem nice to be condemning on a big banner. But That's not the if, best way to be condemning. But what if the, what's <laughs> There's the plenty best of better way ways to be condemning? <laughs> <laughs> do you guys act like you do in your videos in real life, like all sarcastic and stuff, or is it just for show? Ha ha. Speed stacker fifty one. Huh. We basically act we like we're talking act, like now. Yeah. So. It's not. Yeah. Um. Hi, Barbados. Say hi to Barbados. <laughs> Are these things interesting to people? I feel like this I is I don't know. That's seriously, boring. that's why I, I feel like we're born. This is why we don't we, do this. But we're like... More but there's 700 people watching this. It keeps going up. Jordan, okay, let me, let, me, yeah. let, me, let me say something. Just Imagine say something. that you and your sibling just made videos for fun, and then one day one of them got a bunch of video views and all of a sudden you've got a lot of people watching your videos every week yeah and they want you to do these live streams and then they you do them and you think that they're, 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 they're disor boring. disorganized disorienting <laughs> boring quiet <laughs> awkward and then you look up and there's like 700 people watching like how surreal is that and wouldn't it be funny if, like, as we were saying, like, all, all views, like, dropped off and there's gone. But they, there's more. I, Jordan, do you... Oh, man. That was it. Jordan, hey, Jordan, how old were you when you started playing guitar? That's a good question. Um, pro, I don't really know. I get It was probably, like, four years ago. It's been longer than that. Yeah, five, six. I, I really don't know. If Big Kid Kid and Napoleon Dynamite had an argument, who would win? I think that they're actually distant cousins. Very wow, distant, I've never but thought they about are that. related. Honestly, I think that um, Big Kid Kid would probably win because he'd hurt Napoleon Dynamite's feelings, and then he would just run off. That's true. Big Kid Kid Big usually is kind of a jerk. Yeah, he kind of sticks around unless he feels awkward. Yeah, and then he walks away. And I don't away. think that he can make him big head kid feel awkward, dude. That would be awesome if we get John Hader to be in one of our videos and play Napoleon Dynamite. Oh my gosh, that would be the funniest thing. I think my biggest, if 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 we could get, I was saying this to you earlier. If we could get Matt Thiessen to be in one of the videos, that, that would, would be, be so cool. That'd be life changing, really. Um. Man, that's it's doing that thing. It, it like completely freezes. The comments freeze, and it goes. Brrr. So then I think, well, these poor people who wrote these questions, they're just gone now. They just brrr. gone. I mean, Do you eat dang. organic foods? Yes, as as much as I can. There you go. Let me scroll down. Josh doesn't know how to use his own laptop. How old am I? I'm 24. Um, we, and we all don't want to. Make, we don't want to make it sound like we don't enjoy. Uh, hanging out with you guys like this is really fun we just feel like this it's, is fun it's just feel boring for you guys yeah I'm having this fun. i'm having so fun too i just feel, I just like feel i'm nervous like this isn't fun for you guys yeah what <laughs> this is a good question <laughs> what do you <laughs> what do you guys think of people who say oh 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 no it's losing really no bad. it's well, a sign <laughs> i should not oh yeah well, what did it say Fooey. what do you guys think of people who say we should secede into a liberal East U.S. and a conservative West U.S. <laughs> what if we? What if the way it worked was whoever, whoever, whatever, whichever state voted for, like since Tennessee voted for Mitt Romney, then Mitt Romney was our president, and since like New York voted wow. for Barack Obama, then Barack Obama was their president. Obama, and then it was like a competition to see which. See now that is how you'd make the country work. Which one did you, better? Which country did better after four years? Which wow. one had less we unemployment? Just solved the world's two presidents. It would, and it would be a competition. Wow, that way. Oh, that's not the worst idea that's I've ever had. Not the worst idea you've ever had. 
Uh, but what do we think about that? Uh, I don't know. I don't really see America surviving much longer, but I don't think it'll be that way. I think we'll just run out of m people buying the fact that we Buy have it. money, which yeah. we don't. Okay. Uh, hey, that person has the same vision as you, Josh. Commenting that I need a haircut. I'm aware. I haven't had time. Josh is a busy guy. Your hair's really... Well, now that you did that. <laughs> hey, we cracked up Andrew <laughs> Bomberger with our comments about the Titans. So glad we made you laugh there, yeah, Andrew glad that Bomberger. You, are, you know what? <laughs> Just what terrible. are we gonna do another video contest over the winter? Uh, no, probably not. That uh, was fun. It was just a it lot. It was it was a lot of watching. There, we really were surprised at how many people submitted videos. It was crazy. Um. So, uh, the soonest we'll do it is in the summer, but I don't. We don't. We haven't decided what the next summer of Blimey Cow is gonna be like. So, but we've got some ideas. So. Okay. To were lol, y'all cracked me up. Oh, I just you already one. read that one. Let's go back to the tweeters. Tweeters, tweeters is going cray cray. Can you guys wish my friend Justine Barker a happy birthday from Sarah Griffin, Alex Shelby, and McKenz? She is a huge fan. Happy birthday, Justine. Parker, are we supposed to say from Sarah Griffin, Alex Shelby, and McKenz? Hey, Justine Barker, from Sarah Griffin, Alex Shelby, and McKenz. They all say happy, happy birthday, birthday, and so do happy we. Birthday. Happy birthday. So, guys, I'm running a half marathon. April 27th, I think it is. So, be there with your Blimey Cow shirts and your... <laughs> Make me signs and run alongside of me and give me a towel. I believe in you, Jordan. I believe in Jordan. I believe in you, Jordan. You can do it. So if you want to come to Nashville for the country music marathon, half marathon, Jordan, do it. Who is your hero? Who is my hero? Ethan, nine years old, asks. Oh, who is my hero? Oh, man. Master Chief. No, it's not Master Chief. Are you just kidding? What the heck? My hero. Wow, I've never really thought of that before. That's a really difficult. Question. I don't have. I I don't have heroes. Are you your own hero? No. Oh. I don't. I don't look up to fallible man. I knew you were gonna say that. It's it, all you'll ever do is get disappointed if if you look up to human beings. Do you guys I make like fun of there. Midwestern accents? Uh, no, not not on a daily basis or anything. Pride and Prejudice, BC or Kira Knightley? Great question. I'll answer it. Here it comes. Here's your answer. Boom! There's your winner. I think that you scared a few people. That's all right. They'll get over it. Have you guys ever played Slender? Yes. Oh, That's, my gosh. Yeah. <laughs> Jordan. Okay, the funny story. Josh and I, Josh was like, dude, there's this game, Slender, and you've got to play it. And I'm like, man, stop. Stop nagging me about your stupid computer games. And you're like, man, it's horrifying. You've got to play it. And I was like, Okay, Josh, fine, we'll play it. So I, I sit down, Josh downloads it on my computer, and I start playing it. It is, it is extra, like, it's middle of the day, completely sunny in the room, and me and Josh are just sitting there playing this horrifying game where you basically have a flashlight, and you're in the woods, and you have to find these pieces of paper that say, like, beware, get out of Dodge. If you, it's, it's a free download. I don't suggest it to younger children, uh... But if you can handle just being horrified, you have a flashlight, and the flashlight is dying, and all the while you can hear like somebody. And, and every time you, you find a new page, the game goes. <laughs> yeah. and it's just scary as heck. And all of a sudden, like you get turned around, and then 
he's like in your face and and then me and, and then the game like, ends and then and then it's like all fuzzy and, <laughs> and then the game just shuts off completely and you go back to your desktop and the first time that that happened to me where slender attacked me uh me and Josh, we screamed like at the top of our lungs in the house. It was like scary stuff, man. It was scary. Do you listen? Do you guys listen to any Adventures in Odyssey podcasts? If so, which ones? Uh, listen to the blogcast. They interviewed us one time. Uh, cool. Listen to the official one. Uh, I got to meet um, Bob. No, not Bob. The other one. Uh, Jesse, I got to meet uh, Jesse from the official Adventures in Odyssey podcast at the Texas show. He was a really, mm-hmm. really cool guy. Uh, so listen to Blogcast, official one. Listen to the Ceiling Fan podcast. Uh, Kevin's a good friend of mine. Um, and those are the main ones I listen to. So Refresh ye old page. All right. Batman versus Big Head Kid. Who would win the argument? Batman. Easy. Batman wins. Batman. Um, what is your favorite YouTuber other than yourself? That's a good question. I like Fred. Yeah. No, I'm I'm kidding. I'm totally joking, dude. You know, I found out that you know that 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 video that went viral called like at the annoying uh, orange, and it's like the orange with the talking. Oh yeah, dude, that has its own show on Nickelodeon now. It's cool. It's literally. I don't think that's gonna go well. I don't orange. think that's gonna go well for Nickelodeon. Just keep like adapting these YouTube shows into TV no, shows. No, Fred uh, the movie was terrible. I didn't see it, but like nobody knows what that is. Uh, my favorite YouTuber. I like more like historic economic stuff. I don't really watch funny stuff on YouTube. My friend yeah. Tom Woods. I really like his YouTube channel. He he. Whenever there's a new story, he comes on and. Ex- and explains it from his perspective. I just so I, I enjoy listening to his stuff. Um, Hannah says that Slender isn't scary. Well, you haven't played Slender, then you don't know what you're talking you about. Don't know what you are talking about? Um, um, what is the best Legend of Zelda game? I have spent countless hours trying to beat the one on the Super Nintendo. Uh. I don't even know what it's called, but it is ridiculous. Link, like, link to the past. I yeah, I thought I beat it, and then all of a sudden I realized that I wasn't even halfway through the game, and there was like another world that I had to be. I was like, I'm done. I couldn't do it. School was starting. Okay, well I've got got a few good questions here. We'll try and uh, we'll try and get through them. Uh, what is your favorite Josh Whedon creation? Uh, I. Honestly, have never gotten super on board with anything he's done, but but Kelly really likes uh, Firefly. I couldn't really do that show very much. I didn't. There were just parts of it I just really didn't like or appreciate that much. Uh, I didn't. I didn't like the like. What do you say? Like pointless pandering to fanboys, mm. nerdy. I don't know. It just. It was kind of yeah. Anyways, but if I had to pick something, Firefly, I. I understand why people like it. I just it's not just not for me. Uh, Josh, how is your wife? I hope she's feeling better. Been praying for her. Thank you so much, Holly Stewart. She's doing okay. She's upstairs. She's still recovering. She does better every day, but she's still in pain. Uh, so she'll probably still be in bed for a few more days. Um, so yeah, she won't be in messy Mondays for a, a few more weeks. That's a good question. Um, yes, I'm. I'm going to get to that one. How do How do you like the new Mr. Whitaker compared to the old ones? Um, you know. Anytime something changes, you got it takes a little bit, but he's good. He does a good job, um, and obviously, lightning is never going to strike three times, and you're going to find somebody who sounds a lot like the original <laughs> voice. Or but I guess I, lightning all... wouldn't strike twice because the original voice was the original, and then it struck once or twice for Paul Herlinger, and then the other guy. But is it all just about the voice, though? Yeah, you no, know, he does a good job. Um, okay, uh, this is a pretty good question. Uh, De- I think it's pronounced Devin, Devin Devin Hageman. As a content creator, I want to start incorporating my faith. How do you guys find the balance between entertainment and faith? Um, I uh, That's a good question. I would say that I approach everything from the perspective of uh, if when I'm writing stuff, uh, I approach everything from the perspective of if I 
was completely turned off to anything having to do with God, uh, how would somebody say something to me that would make me uh, not be turned off by what they were saying? Uh, but still getting the point across that we're trying to get across. So if you go back and watch most of our videos, we always try and word things in a way that if maybe somebody was agnostic or an atheist or just turned off by that kind of thing, uh, that that they could still appreciate it and, and find value in some part of the message that we're trying to get across. So that's what I would say. Just kind of always approach it from uh, that perspective, I guess. It's always cool when we get messages from people or like comments. I see comments on YouTube that it's like, hey, I'm an atheist and I still think that these videos are hilarious. Yeah, those are my favorite comments to get. Um, Kylie Gre Greenlee asked, what's your favorite game on the Wii? Oh, wow. I mean, you gotta go with Wii Bowling. I mean, that's not even, like, a, its own game. I'll go with, like... uh, you know, it's not, it's not, uh, uh, Wii isn't the only system it's on, but, uh, World of Goo. I think I had the most mm. fun playing World of Goo. Uh. Oh, that was super fun. That's one of my favorites. And then, of course, the Metroid Prime Trilogy. Uh, just Metroid Prime is so solid, so when they put all three games on one disc... Whew. Whew, guys! Okay, we keep getting asked if we're Tim Hawkins fans. I, I think I've only ever seen one thing from Tim Hawkins ever, but I think it was pretty funny. Uh, he seems like he's got quite a following, so it's pretty cool. Um, let's see. Is Josh balding? I'm actually not balding. Everybody in my family... My mom and my dad's side, they, like, I have, have a ton of hair. I have, like, the Tom Hanks hair. You really do. So actually. I'm not really... It's not like I'm balding, I but I just... It, it, it kind of goes back. There, that's, like, some kind of... There's, like, something in your DNA that says if you're going to have hair, like, mine really? was, like, straight or yours where it goes like that. Yes. I learned that in biology. Are you guys more excited about the new Lord of the Rings or trilogy or the new Star Wars trilogy? That's a great question. What do you think, Jordan? Um, I would. I'm. Oh gosh. I'm. You know what? Honestly, I think. I think I'm gonna have to go with Lord of the Rings. Yes. I just want to see what's what Disney is going to do to Star Wars. That's the only reason why I would be. I'll tell you why I'm that. more excited about Star Wars because we already know what's going to happen in the Hobbit. It's it's already you know what I mean. But with right. Star, but I guess with Star Wars, well, I guess we don't know if it's going to follow expanded universe or not, or do we? I don't. I guess I don't know enough don't about know, it. But man, any I, okay, okay, maybe you could you could you could that could go both ways. But uh, I'm going to go with Star Wars. I'm not super excited about more Lord of the Rings. I guess I feel like I'm the only one who isn't super excited about more Lord of the Rings. But I mean, I'm not, I, I mean, I'm not super excited. But if it was between Lord of the Rings and Star Wars, I'd yeah. go with Lord of the Rings. Well, oh, did you hear that the guy who's writing the new Star Wars movie is uh, the guy who wrote Toy Story three? So it's why got he, that going. Why for would it. he turn his back on us? What? Why, why would he turn his back on us? What do you mean? I think that's great. I think that would be really good. Toy Story 3 yeah. is a great script. No, I, I'm not disagreeing that it's a great script. It is a great script. It just, I don't know. It just doesn't seem like you just... Okay, this guy, Nick Will Willemsma, uh, has asked a bunch of times, Mac or PC? I'm really sorry I didn't get to your question before. Uh, I edit with Mac. I work and do most other things with a PC. So... Uh, but I actually just got a Mac laptop. Uh, it was it was also, purchased. Is, it was purchased for me. me. What? There's like a weird light thing. Yeah, because I've got a case on it. Oh, it's like messing with my eyes. Oh. I don't know why. Uh, so I I've been using Mac a lot more. Mac's just a great operating. It's got a great operating system and and stuff. Just depending on what you want to do, you know, the whole is <laughs> is Mac or PC better? It just depends on what you're doing. If if you if you are going to be a computer hacker in your life, you're probably going to use a PC. But if you're going to, uh, <clears throat> you know, write scripts or... Did you just say that everybody that uses a Mac... I mean, uses a... The nerd it, living in their you, parents' basement. <laughs> Does just Jordan kidding. have six-pack abs? I like how they specified six-pack abs. <laughs> An eight-pack. Hipster Josh is 
pretty funny. It's somewhat of an extension of Josh's. the things about myself that I hate. <laughs> Bigot Kid is basically is basically Jordan me. for the first two hours of the morning <laughs> before he's had his coffee. <laughs> before before I've had my coffee. Before you've had your coffee. Just kidding. Just kidding. Just kidding. All right. So what's your next vid idea? Rachel Losardo. Happy birthday, Amanda. Uh, our next video is tentatively called... 20... Holiday 20. Shopping Guide 2012. Yeah, 2012. So we'll see how that goes. It's kind of just been a really crazy week because Kelly I, Kelly's been in, in bed all week, so I've been having to take care of her and stuff. And we were trying to come up with stuff earlier, but then Halo Four but got then in the way. Halo Four was a reality in our lives. Yeah. Right, where's the tweeter gist? Okay, let's go back over to Twitter for a couple of minutes. Excuse me. Um. The Hunger Games is more like the illustration for the book. I I'll buy that. Thanks. Oops. Oh, uh, Reverend uh, Tim Whitehead. He said, um, "Thanks." Wondering if you earned your Sparky's plaque, excellence award, and Timothy Trophy. I got the Sparky plaque. I did. I got the Timothy award. I was never in Sparky's when my church started doing a lot. I was Sparky's. a pal. Yeah, I I had one year to complete two years of pal man, and I did it. I did it. I still have my Sparky's plaque. Have you been hated on by other Christians for your videos or their content? Yes, and they always the emails always start exactly like this. Hey guys, big fan of your videos, but every time, yeah, which is okay. It's like, but why? So why didn't you write before you hated one? Why didn't you tell us you liked it? Why'd you wait until you were mad? <laughs> <laughs> Someone said to tell Kelly we love her. Thank you so much. I'll scream right I now. I really appreciate how much kindness you guys have shown. Yes. I've gotten lots of just random emails from people, too, and stuff. Just saying, hey, how's Kelly doing? And we're telling us Aww. we're praying for her and stuff. So that's that's, that's really nice. kind of you guys. Thank you so much. <laughs> Hopefully she'll do okay. Oh, that'd be so funny if I just took the laptop over there and she was like asleep. I was like, oh, my gosh. That would be hilarious. There's 689 people watching you right now. She would be like, oh. Can we do that? No. <sighs> Forgiveness has its limits. Yeah. What is your favorite As Cities Burn record? Easy one, Wesley. What? West. <laughs> Wesley. Wife. Wesley. It's Son, I Love You at Your Darkest. Son, I Love okay. You at Your Darkest. Or, no son. doubt. No doubt in my Princess what? Bride or Secondhand Lions? Are you kidding me, Farmer's Daughter? You gotta go with Princess Bride. Hey, it's Farmer's Daughter. It's yeah, Farmer's Daughter. She tweets us a lot. Three-er, I know. Um, I like Farmer's Daughter. Let's see. Do you eat the whole apple? No. <laughs> I don't. I throw apple. half of it away because that's what a true American does, right? Uh, all right. Back over to the, to the YouTubes. Back over to the YouTubes. I use duct tape on my glasses. Come on. Duct tape. I tried that, duct bro. Tape. I found this glue was the best. One time, I was, like, obsessed with Lord of the Rings, like every 14-year-old kid was, and um, I made a, like, Legolas um, sheath, but not a sheath, but it's what you hold the arrows in. Why am I blanking on what that's called? It was so cool. It had, like, a, a section, and it was made out of duct tape, and it had, like, a section for, like, two, like, knives, but they weren't really knives. They were, like, plastic something, and... All right, on, cool. on YouTube, Francis Cornelius asks, Josh, how long have you and Kelly been married? Well, uh, two years and a few months. That's how long we've been married, and it's been very, very, very wonderful. Um, we would love to give Henning Steve a shout-out. And uh, Alt173 says, I don't think they are seeing anything posted here. Incorrect. Because we just saw yours. We're, we're looking at your tweet. We're looking at your... Yeah. yeah so it's not a tweet. It's a, I mean, your your YouTube comment. Um, do you like lamps? Yes. yes. I it's a reference That's, to Anchorman. Okay. Okay. Oh, yeah. Are any of you artists... No... Kelly can, Except Kelly, can, Kelly draw. can draw very well, and I have to. I can draw stuff. Like one time, I drew a picture of Samus from Metroid. For any of you that play that, um, 
and it was so good. Oh like, yeah, I that's a of, good. Job. I have my moments of inspiration. I don't know where <laughs> that is, but dude, I don't know how that even came out of my brain. That was that was that was a, a miracle. Picture. I need to frame that. You do. That would be so weird. Dude, I would put that above my computer. Wow. Um. We just made Farmer's Daughter's Night. That is what I'm talking about, Farmer's Daughter. That's what Layla I'm Wilbanks, about. you guys are awesome. Father of six, thank you. Very kind of you to say. Thank you. Um, can you? You know, okay. I, I'm I'm trying to weigh the pros and cons of whether I like you stream better or not. This is obviously better for uh, people viewing, viewing because you because everybody's on YouTube. But the comment section like, is this is really terrible. horrible. I wish there was a way that I could there, see there must this. Be a way. Here it says, "Oh, I thought this is comment. It said cameraman. This is really awful. Like this is genuinely. Yeah, I almost can't believe how terrible, terrible it is." A catchy, catchy, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, <laughs> yeah. Can you guys see this? I think that the computer's probably gonna have a crazy moment. Watch, just watch, watch what it does. I or maybe it's, it's gonna. Oh wow! Look at look at this. Ooh. Whoa, dude, that's like that might make a computer go into overdrive. This is my greatest fear. My greatest fear is that. Does Somebody will fear. see one of our videos and be like, this is kind of funny. Yeah. And then they'll go to our channel and say, yeah. wow, they have like 60,000 subscribers. That's That must be cool. And then they see a video like this and they're just like, what is this amateur filth? Yeah, that's true. And that they is, just that completely good, unsubscribe. That's a good fear. But, but then the other side of that is that you guys want us to do these use streams. And we haven't come up with a good way to do them yet. So... I don't know, man. Lots of games. Lots of consoles. Lots of consoles. <laughs> just pick one. Yeah, um. Oh, man. Are Marissa you... Brown asks, are you guys Vols fans? No. Not really, no. Not so much. Uh, I got man. two words for you. Chomp. 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 All day, baby. All day long, and we just, our viewership just went down about 200 million. Hey man, if you want to be a Vols fan and unsubscribe from us, that is that's fine. That's that's okay with Josh. That's fine with me. No, I'm actually really not that invested in college football. Yeah, I really actually not. I actually all. read a interesting article today. On what, Josh? It was about What did you read? Do you know George Orwell in um 1984, in 1984 yes. the 2 minutes hate? The what? The 2 minutes hate? No. I that's I have not read that. Oh, you haven't read the book? Read Brave New well, World. they 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 sit everybody down. If I remember correctly, they sit everybody down and they show these images in this like this brief documentary or or this clip of this guy who is like anti-authoritarian, like he's anti the, the 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 Big Brother state, and everybody hates it. And so, like everybody hates this man. And so it's called the Two Minutes Hate. So everybody's supposed to hate this man for two minutes, and it's supposed to. Uh, breed allegiance to the state or whatever because everybody is hating the, something the anti of the state so anyways i read this interesting fascinating article today is this like was, tying with the false uh, yeah it's about to oh, okay. let me finish my sentence uh about <laughs> it was contrasting how the two minute hate is a lot like modern football Ooh. it was it's just designed to keep your mind off of what's really going on in the world it was very interesting. It made me feel kind of guilty for liking football as much as I Dude, did. I have been feeling guilty about liking football for a long time now because I have thought about that before. Really? I have I'll have to. I'll before. link you to the article. Yeah, give me the article. It was really interesting. It was talking about how men these days are basically just completely emasculated. And so... That's a weird word. Yeah. And so... Uh, Anyways, yeah, so they were saying that, like, football is, like, this one thing that they can get really, like, about, mm -hmm. but how it basically means nothing. Anyways. Wow. You know how I just believe all that stuff, man, really? That stuff makes me not want to watch the Titans game tomorrow. Dude, what? Why even watch the Titans game tomorrow? There's no point. I don't even know who they're playing. It really doesn't even matter who they're playing. They could be playing... 
the high school team down the road and they lose. Do you? Is Emily slash Sarah related to you? Who is Emily? Emily? Um, the only Emily I can think that you guys would be talking about no. is McDonald. But I'm no. pretty sure we never actually said her name. I don't think in we video. did either. That's strange. Uh, though she has appeared once or twice. Jordan, why do your eyebrows have a life of their own? Oh, but no, Sarah is not related to us. Um, <laughs> you guys became ten times more attractive saying that you watched Breakfast at Tiffany's and Pride and Prejudice. What can we say? We like the classics. Yeah. We like the classics. What's the topic for your next video? Um, it's called The Messy Monday's Holiday Shopping <laughs> Guide 2012. And it's going to be... Really it's going to know where it's going, though. Yeah, we're not sure where it's going, but it's going to tell you all the stuff you need for Christmas so you can be happy in your life. <laughs> uh, Do you like pie? Yes. Yeah, pretty good. It's pretty good. Do you guys like One Direction? I like One Direction for one reason. Yeah. And that is for my sweet friend Katie Musgrove. Who Josh was talking about earlier. Yes. That made him tear up. Yeah. Um... She just loves One Direction so much. And thanks to her Twitter account, I get to know everything about One Direction, about One Direction. all the time. <laughs> so, anyways. Jordan, look at his face at the comments of Toy Story 3's ride, writer writing the Star Wars script. Okay. I don't understand. Favorite music groups slash musicians. That's from Curtis Flack. Oh, man. The guy from... What's the guy's name um, from this day and age? And oh, Jeff yeah. Martin. Jeff Martin. Jeff Martin, if you're watching this... Jeff Martin is following Martin. me on Twitter. Yeah. Well, Matt Thiessen so, following me, so... Yeah, that's pretty crazy, figure man. that one out. Yeah, it's pretty crazy. Go... Ch everybody go check out um, Pompton Lakes... You don't even listen to Pompton Lakes. You would listen you to know? one time. How do you know? Because you would have told me. Uh, you would have talked about true. it. No. So I, it's that Guys, good. I am sorry that I do not use iTunes. I do not use iTunes, and that is Spotify's fault. Why hasn't Sarah from Kirby Every Day been on the show in a while? Um, I don't know. I don't yeah, know. I honestly don't know. Uh. Where Mainly we would use uh, Sarah and Kirby when Kirby was in town, because Kirby doesn't live in town. Uh, so when Kirby would come into town, we'd have them both be on the show. And then a few weeks ago, Sarah said, you know, I can be on the show without Kirby. And I, <laughs> I was like, I guess that's true. So then we put her in which video was it? Oh, man. That was like a month ago. Over a month ago. What was hey, that It was when we were laughing awkwardly. Big Head Kid and Sarah were laughing awkwardly. Oh, that was... Oh, that's right, because oh. she helped us come up with... That was the things you say when you don't know what and to say. And we called Kirby... Yeah. yeah. That's right, and then Kirby helped Kirby us Kirby come up with stuff, too. Talking Peanuts part. Yeah. Um, yeah, Kirby came up with the Talking Peanuts idea. Um, Jeez, we've been doing this for an hour. Yeah, I know. So anyways, to answer your question, I don't know, but I will be sure to let her know that we when we did the, the live stream, people asked why Sarah wasn't in more videos. And you know what she'd say? She'd be like, yeah, Josh, why haven't I been in a video? <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, let's see. Go to YouTube's. Go to the oh, YouTube. Oh, right. Sometimes Josh forgets what YouTube is. I have to remind him. See, then we have to sit here and wait because, yeah, like, because it's, it's like it doesn't actually up. I guess I could just hit re refresh. Refresh. <laughs> That's so funny. That's funny. Oh man, what was your favorite TV show growing up? What was that? What was that TV show? I'm sorry, I don't know the names of stuff. Like, tell me, what was that TV show where? the family went into that, like, sinkhole, and they went into, like, dinosaur times. Oh, Land of the Lost. Land of the Lost. 
Let it rock. Oh my oh, gosh. Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah, I for ne- I neglected to mention, yes, Les Miserables. I am very much looking forward to that movie. That's going to be good. Can you guys give a shout-out to my cousin Jillian M.? She's Jillian a huge M. fan and would die if you say hi to her. I don't want to say Please it. make her dreams come true. I don't want to say it. I don't want Jillian to say M., Jillian I'm M. I'm sorry to have murdered you in this way. Yeah. But maybe... Hi. We will probably not actually be at the funeral. I don't want... I, don't, I feel like that you're... Hey, you guys. Family wouldn't want to talk to us if we'd been responsible for her death. Probably not. Do you like Owl City? Yes, I had a dream two nights ago that um, Adam Young uh, was tweeting me. I don't even know what we were talking about. I think I was trying to talk him into being in one of our videos or something. I don't remember. I woke up. Do you? Oh, what did I say? Man, it was a question about the word conspiracy in it. I wanted to read what it said. Oh, oh darn. Do you, do you all think the legalization of marijuana is a conspiracy of the government to get more people on welfare? What? Marijuana legalization and welfare? Oh, I see. Because they think that if you if you use marijuana, then you're more likely to not make money because oh. you're high. Oh, I don't know. Uh, I that, normally I don't think so. With that, but I don't know. <laughs> like, Jordan Jordan's usually like, on the conspiracy train. Really, like Jordan looks like Frodo. <laughs> I don't think I do. Hey, guys. Oh, oh, that is so true. Holy cannoli. Somebody just told us if we leave the cursor, if we move the cursor around on the comment section, it'll update faster. Thank you so much. Thank you. Literally. How did you... I see. Yeah, well, I, w- I was right. It said weed equals lazy equals welfare. Okay. So I guess okay. I was correct. Um, no, I, I don't think that the, that is what that is all about. Can you... Supercalifragilisticexpialidocious. <laughs> I used to think it was allegocious. Dude, I don't even know what I'm saying. I knew it a girl a one time who could type that whole word with her eyes closed on the on the computer. That is not real. You are making stuff Dude, up. I bro. swear that that happened. Wow, I really wish that I had known that I could that do earlier. this earlier. She was probably trying to tell you the whole time, and you just didn't know because you couldn't see it. I'm playing Josh at Words with Friends. If I win, will you put a picture of me on Messy Monday? Ben... <laughs> Let me be honest. Like for like a there is the end. about a two percent chance you're going to beat me in that game. I'm pretty sure I'm owning you right now. Just looks up every word on Google. No, that is incorrect. I don't do that. I have seen you do it. No, I have not ever done that. Did you guys do no shave November? I cheated and shaved, but no, I'm not shaving. I did too. Which basically means nothing for Jordan. Guys, I look. I can actually kind of grow a little bit. It just looks. It just doesn't connect. It looks terrible. Let's go back to the tweeters. Let's go back to the tweeters. Do you go to Winterfest in Gatlinburg? Uh, and there, there was. I'm, let me let me clear. Oh, go ahead. Gatlinburg. I said Gatlinburg. Why did I say Gatlinburg? I'm in Gatlinburg, Gatlinburg in years. I think we got this tweet from a girl named Kristen Meyer. Just I. I so I'm going to read it and then I'll clarify what I said earlier uh, concerning. Uh, uh, faith and entertainment and how you mix the two because somebody asked because I guess they said we do a good job of it so how do you mix them mm. uh, and somebody wrote and said please in all seriousness don't witness to your atheist friends respect people's right to believe or uh, not uh, and uh, not even comment oh 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 I'm sorry that was I figured that was that was wrong. that was related to something else okay Somebody said, can you please give me advice on how to witness to my atheist friends? I don't know what to do. I'm nervous of what they'll think. And then somebody replied. I thought that was in reference to what, we said earlier, to what I had said earlier uh, because I had mentioned uh, atheism uh, and stuff like that. Uh, anywho. Any, anywho. Sorry about that, folks. Back to our regularly scheduled program. <laughs> um, I 
Oh my goodness, man! The comments are just ridiculous. This is unbelievable how many comments we're getting. I know. I like my mind is completely blown. I am speaking of mind being completely blown. Um. The number of people asking us if we like Doctor Who every time we do a live stream is unbelievable. Ridiculous. I'm surprised it's not the most watched show in television history, given how many people ask us so, about Doctor Who. Um, somebody said something about church. You know, I was just... I haven't to really told you this, but um, at the church that I've been going to, uh -huh. it's so weird. It's like people at that church... Uh -huh. um, come up to me randomly, I can see that they're like look staring at me and then they come up to me randomly and then they're like, Wait, are you are you the guy that does um messy Mondays? And I think it's getting like spread around the church that I go there and I think it That's pretty, pretty funny. It's pretty funny. That is pretty funny. It happens like every week now. Like somebody new. Okay, well I think we should probably start wrapping this up before too long. We've been doing probably. this for I'm quite really a while. Hungry and I'm really tired. And I still gotta drive home. Jocelyn is about 20 minutes from me. Just remember the good old days when you used to... You used, you used to... We used to share a room. We used to share a room. Yeah, Jordan and I used to share a room. Though Those days are long gone. Those days are long gone, huh? Now Jordan has his own room. Something, something I've never experienced in my entire life. Wow, you haven't. That's right. I went from sharing a room with you to sharing a room with my wife. Something tells me I got the better deal. Because you're all alone. All right. If Josh made Blimey Cow, why isn't he the host? <laughs> Great question. This is these are Josh's. Because people. I am not good in front of the camera. Josh, it, just do hipster Josh the whole time. That's such a funny character. Do what is do hipster Josh in Yellow TV show? Oh man, <laughs> what is the best youth group experience? What is your best youth group experience ever? One time, my youth pastor came in, and he had nothing to say that day, and he didn't. And everybody knew he didn't come prepared, and so he he would just be rambling about nothing, and then he was just like he would. All, he was talking about freedom, apparently. And freedom. So he would just randomly. He would go and he'd just be like. Freedom! <laughs> and then he would like say something that had nothing he to do with He was trying to make freedom. it sound like he had come prepared with something. Like freedom was the topic. Oh was man, that was classic. That was so funny. I didn't learn anything about freedom that day because all I learned was that he could say the word freedom a hundred times to get back on topic. Does Red TV ask your permission to use your videos? No. Uh, no, but I have no. talked to them before. Uh... And so we're cool and stuff. Like uh, when they first, somebody told us, hey, this show called Wretch played one of your shows. And I was like, oh, wow. So I went and looked it up, sure enough. And so I emailed them and I said, hey, thanks for playing our show. That's really nice of you. And so we emailed back and forth a little bit. Uh, and so, yeah, they use our shows, our, our that's episodes cool. from time to time. So that's pretty neat. I actually just saw that on TV one time. Like I just thought it was on YouTube or whatever, but it's actually on TV on TV on a specific channel. Oh really? And I was like always look to see if we're. On I've only ever seen it on YouTube. Yeah. Um, cool. All right, gang. Well, I think we're about to be wrapped up here, but this has been so fun. Hasn't this been fun? This has been fun. I've been super excited to do. Ever since you told me that we could do a live stream on YouTube, I was like, Yeah, now that we've done this yeah. once, we can better understand how to do this better next time. To like move the cursor around so we can yeah, so we can keep up more. with comments and stuff. This is definitely the most people we've ever. Yeah, had. I figured it was going to go doing about like three hundred YouTube stream thing. Yeah. Cool. Okay. Well, main things you need to take away from this is that the next video is probably called um, probably. Messy Monday's Holiday Shopping Guide 2012. And if that isn't what it ends up being called and it has nothing to do with that topic, then rest assured that we came up with something and, and hopefully it was funny. done within like 24 hours. <laughs> so when you watch it, it hasn't even existed for like an entire day. Yeah. Like the script didn't. And the other thing that you need to take away from this is that I don't even remember what pray for my wife, Kelly, yes. that she keeps feeling better. And also pray for my mom that she gets my brother Halo 4 for Christmas so that we can play together. And also... <laughs> pray for my sanity, guys, please. Pray for Jordan because please he is 
Getting all F's in all of his classes. <laughs> what is that from? Got all F's in all my classes. I don't know. That was from some... Oh, that was from uh, one of our videos. Okay, okay, we'll answer one more question. Somebody's freaking out. So, um, oh, please answer before you guys leave! What Blimey Cow video was the most fun one to make, if you can remember? The most fun we ever had making a Blimey Cow or Messy Mondays wow. would have to be... The the most uh, we've ever laughed. I mean, it's the go to like, answer. But the if you're a Christian, you have to be happy all the time. We definitely laughed the most making that video. Dude, I don't remember that one as much as when we made. Well, no, that one was fun because that was when it blind me, er, messed you. Yeah, that's when we started kind of figured out what, what the show was going to be. We do but what were you going to say? I was going to say the old messages. Um, the first one when we introduced Batman. Oh yeah, yeah, that yeah, was yeah. The, the funniest. Uh, when, don't when wear you, hockey pants. When you first edited that, dude, I and Ravi was over. <laughs> I have never laughed that hard in my <laughs> life. That was so funny. Oh man. All right. Well, okay, guys. Well, go. this has been too fun. So thank you all so much for watching, and we'll have a new video for you on Monday. Monday, and we will. Oh, we'll and with something. Uh, hey, just as long as we're here, and uh, I know there are a lot of people that subscribe to us. Uh, and I promise this is all, and then we're done. Uh, <laughs> uh, and then I lost my train of thought. But I know there's a lot of people who just subscribe to us on YouTube who don't. Uh, know about or follow us elsewhere um, but we do the majority of our posting on our Facebook page so if you like us on YouTube and would like to keep in touch with us we try to respond to all the messages and comments we get we can't really do it all the way but we try to do it as, as best as we can so facebook.com slash blimey cow and uh, if you want to tweet to us and follow us on Twitter it's at blimey cow and if you want to follow us personally, where uh, it's that's probably the best way to keep in contact yeah. with us. Mine uh, is at messy underscore Jordan. Messy underscore Jordan for him, and I'm at Josh Taylor three eight eight. That's three eight. You know eight eight in sign language is this. This is eight in sign language. Nice. Um, and uh, Kelly is at Keener Taylor, Keener Taylor, and all of this information is at blimeycow.com uh, if you want to follow us. And then Kelly also has a, a, a website that she runs on her own called shelearnsasshegoes.com, and I think that's all the information. Uh, but if you want to be the first to know about new stuff we're doing or things like that, those are the best places to keep in contact with us because YouTube is just basically where we post our videos once they're done. Yeah. But if you want to know about what we're going to do next before we do it, then you can f follow us on those other places like Facebook and Twitter. <laughs> and uh, Tumblr, too. All right. Well, the Tumblr. Tum -tum. Blimeycow.tumblr.com. Okay. Well, thank you all so much, all 661 of I you that are left. I think at some point there were 780 people. Yeah, that's pretty ridiculous. <laughs> you guys are seriously amazing. Yeah. I, thanks for... I don't understand I don't any get it of either, you. So. I don't understand I don't you people. <laughs> Uh, no, you guys are awesome. All right, we'll talk at you soon. Bye. See ya.